I say it's too late to turn back now It's too late Welcome to Beaver Talk. I'm Susan McCord and I'm here with my guest who is an amazing musician and uh, her name is Jackie Brown. So Jackie, I want you to tell me what's going on in your life right now. What is this new and exciting thing that's happening to you? Uh, well, I can say the most exciting thing right now is I'm, I'm in the middle of recording a record. Really? Yeah. And what type of record is it? It's a, a record about love. Yes. She stand out um, differently to other artists out there. Well, my voice is very distinct. Yes, it and is. It's great. When you turn it on, there's no doubt about who's singing. Yeah. Um, I am a very versatile vocalist, so, you know, I come from a very heavy rock background, right into jazz, R&B, a little bit of country thrown in there. That's kind of cool. Very soulful. Yeah. So I just naturally grab from all those different genres. I don't think about it too much. It just happens. So and I'm, I'm like a sponge. I'm working on an album with John Burton. I'm very excited about this one. John Burton from Doug and the Sludge. Doug and the Sludge, yeah. yes. Uh, I, didn't I never really knew John before. Um, I just met him fairly recently, within the last um, about eight months. How'd you hook up? Through another mutual friend and musician. Great. Is there anything about you that your listeners should know? I am really curious about artists and who they are a little bit, their background, and how they got there, and, and the the turns it took to to get through those winding roads and is there something about your your path that stands out getting there well, first of all I was raised in a very uh, rural environment where there was literally no radio no TV or anything oh. but yet I always knew that I would be um, somehow a voice so to speak I've traveled a lot I'm a bit of a loner so I Are have you married no I'm not married okay yeah. I do have a great son, though. How, how son. old is he? Uh, Connor will be 20 this year. Very fortunate woman because by the time Connor came into my life, I already had you know a good eight years of um, six, seven nights a week under my belt. So I had established myself. Um, oh, great! In Vancouver and Western Canada specifically, as you know, as a vocalist, um, I was starting to get a lot of great studio gigs at that point. Oh, perfect! So, so you could I was get really never married. Yeah, I was never more than ten minutes from the house. I've I've never had a day job, you know, for eighteen and a half years. Great. It was a brief decade or something. That's a nice that story I, because so many single moms struggle and and they have to put their dreams on hold for quite a while while the kids are growing up, right? I think the best advice that they can, that I could uh, give a young artist starting out is learn a mu as much about the music industry as you can right off the bat. Good tip. And it's super important for them to learn an instrument. So if you, the venues in Vancouver that you play at now, uh, I know you you mentioned to me the Yale downtown, which is I mean I've played many rooms in Vancouver specifically, but that was a room that um, you know I could at one point pack a couple three nights in a row and. That was a lot of fun. I mean, it's a very large room. It's the energy is amazing there, and specifically with this record right now, um, it's definitely when I start. John and I start playing again. We're going to be in a lot more of an intimate um, setting. So you've done some work in LA in that as well, haven't you? I've been doing some traveling. Yes, she gets around <laughs> and she's doing great, and she's going to be even more successful once her new album comes out. So stay tuned because we're going to bring in John and uh, have a few questions with him about their new life together. Strictly business, of course. Thanks for listening, everyone. <laughs> I know. Thank you, Susie. Strong with its golden 